Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video today about Australian cricket legend Shane Warne. Obviously everyone's heard the news by now, he's passed away at 52 I think it was, of a suspected heart attack. I uh, ended up meeting him and his then girlfriend Elizabeth Hurley, an actress Elizabeth Hurley, right? At Sydney Airport 2013, I'll show you that in a second. Lovely dude, lovely dude. And honestly a shocker for not just myself, my mum, but Australia and potentially the world, right? India absolutely love him. Uh, so does a lot of celebrities, including Ed Sheeran and Mick Jagger and Sir Elton John, apparently, because they ended up paying tribute to uh, to his legacy, right? Uh, yeah, terrible situation. Uh, this was um, this was Ed Sheeran, right, on uh, on his actual website. Th this is actually Shane Warne's actual Instagram page. This was a quick little. Thing I wanted to show you guys, there's a deeper theme behind this. I want to get to this deeper theme in a second, right? This was his last post, which was probably six days ago now. So, can you guys see? Six days ago on the very bottom right there. So it would have been five days ago uh, when he passed away, obviously. But Operation Shred has started 10 days in. And the goal by July is to get back to the shape from a few years ago. Let's go. So, gosh, that's really sad. Terribly sad. The theme to this video is we don't know how much longer we have left in life. And I know that's depressing, but it's, I mean, it's absolutely true. There's nothing truer than that, right? We could die of a heart attack tomorrow. We could die of a car crash, plane crash, a meteorite, asteroid. Uh, war with Russia could turn into World War Three. Now, let's just hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but look, anything could happen, right? The, the deeper theme here is this, right? Tomorrow is never promised. So love and appreciate the people who are in your life right now. I mean, it doesn't say that, but I'm, I'm adding to it, right? Right now, today, forget about tomorrow. Do everything you can every day to make your day today the best day possible if you can. All right? Appreciate every day you wake up and breathe because that's a day that a lot of people unfortunately don't wake up to. It's terrible, right? It's a terrible theme, but uh, this is uh, my photo with Shane Warne. Uh, you know, very sad to hear the passing of Aussie cricket legend Shane Warne today. I was honored to meet Shane Warne and Elizabeth Hurley in Sydney airport back in 2013, right? Lovely dude, such a, such a kind hearted dude. Here is Elizabeth Hurley, all right? They were, I think, I think they were flying from Sydney to Melbourne, and yeah, they were going out together then. I think even Elizabeth Hurley has posted her tributes on her social medias to him. Uh, yeah, terribly sad situation, right? Now, look, self-admittedly, I'm, I, I never was the biggest uh, cricket fan or sports fan, to be honest. I've, I've never really been a big sports fan. I'm more into oh, other things. Put it that way. I'm more into, <laughs> I'm more into other things. That's not to say, though, that I absolutely, I absolutely do appreciate what Shane has done for the, you know, the, the cricket world for Australia, obviously, because he's an Australian. I'm an Australian, right? I'm from Sydney. So I absolutely appreciate and love what he's done for, for, the, for the sport and, uh, you know, for Australia. And, yeah, I got to meet him. I probably have met him two times. I think I've met him two times. Definitely once, as you guys have seen. I, I say probably because I once was a part-time paparazzi back in the day. I will be making videos about this in the future, but yeah, I've got photos and, and autographs from hundreds of celebrities over the years. So I've been out in public and mixed with the social scene over the years. And I'm pretty sure I've met them twice, but uh, one photo that I can find at least is was when they were flying from Sydney to Melbourne. Now, interesting story, Shane Warne, you know, shook his hand. Hi, hey, man, how's it going? You know, Honored to meet you, sir. Can I get a photo of you? He's like, yeah, sure, you know. Obviously, this happened in 2013, so I don't remember the full interaction. But one thing I do remember, and this will, this will absolutely shock you, he actually gave me his boarding pass to his airplane. Uh, in some cases, you get two boarding passes. One's like the pre-boarding the pre pass. You know those little TV screens that you... Uh, you, when you when you check in, you you self check yourself in with the little television screen uh, instead of going to the person to speak. So you, it's a touch screen, right? Da, 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 da. So you, you, there's there's a there's a pre boarding pass, and then of course there's the actual boarding pass. 
he, he gave me the pre-boarding pass. Uh, so there we go. I don't quite know how they both work with each other. It's been a while since I've taken a flight. It's been a while since most of us have taken a flight. But yeah, I, I went to look in my drawers to try and find the, uh, the pre-boarding pass or whatever it is. It's been a while since I've seen it. Now, I couldn't find it, unfortunately. Uh, look, I, I'm on Instagram. As soon as I find it, I will absolutely uh, <laughs> post it for you guys. I really don't care if you believe me or not. It's the true story. As soon as I find it, I will post it. But yeah, go check that out, right? Uh, you know, did you guys know that apparently Shane Warne wanted Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt to play him in a, in a biopic, in a movie, right? I'm not going to read any of this, but uh, apparently India really, really, really want to make a movie about his life. And at some point, they would have loved to, to have gotten Shane Warne involved with this movie. I mean, obviously, that's not going to happen now. But uh, yeah, Shane really, really wanted... Uh, DiCaprio or Pitt to play him in a movie. I mean, that could still happen someday, right? But uh, yeah, it's sad that that'll never happen, obviously. Uh, now, I went to the International Cricket Hall of Fame in Barrel, New South Wales, Australia. This is the Donald Bradman Museum. Donald Bradman, so Sir Donald Bradman, who has now passed away, unfortunately, uh, is, is considered the best cricketer probably ever in history, right? And there's a whole museum dedicated there in Barrel, New South Wales. Now, I've been there a few times, actually, three times. Uh, I've only been inside it once, but I've walked around the fields two extra times, so three times all up. And that's where sold, what's, that's pretty much where Sir Donald Bradman would, uh, would bat as a child, and that's where he got his skills as a batsman, right? But I saw a bit of an, exi a, an exhibition regarding Shane Warne, pretty much, and uh, it's, it's, it's a little exhibition, but, I mean, it's basically there... And I'm guessing over the years now that will come, they'll be adding a lot more things regarding Shane. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is actually a Shane Warren massive statue outside the Melbourne Cricket Ground. I've never seen that personally, but next time I'm in Melbourne, I'll definitely will be going to check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about uh, Shane. And uh, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm honored to have met the guy. I'm honored to have met him. Uh, you know, apparently a great time in his life. Apparently he called... Uh, his time in his life with Elizabeth Hurley, the actress, uh, one, of, one of the best times in his life, one of the happiest times in his life. So yeah, I'm, I'm honored to have met him and got a photo with him there and, and, that, and that happy time in his life. And yeah, I mean, it's sad, but what can we learn from this, right? Well, as I've said before, don't take every day as a meh, whatever. I mean, use every day that we're on earth to try and better our lives for the future because we don't know how much future we have left, right? Anything could happen every single day guys make the loved ones in your life known that you love them make yourself a better person and shit spin up your life a little all right that was a reference never mind guys we're on channel two and of course channel one we make five videos a week on this channel two instagram facebook youtube at tall boy gareth i've been told my name's gareth and i'll see you beautiful lovely ladies and gentlemen tomorrow stay cool bye